Hi brothers and sisters, today I'm here. I want to do a very exclusive experiment so that you can be able to understand what it means to be in Christ. You are in Christ and Christ is in you. All right. I want to show you exactly what it means. You see, the Bible tells us that uh, a man shall leave his father and mother and shall be joined to his wife and the two shall become one. People have never really understood what being one means. You know, you tend to think that uh, it's something that you can separate. Did you hear the Bible say that nothing can separate you from the love of Christ? Have you heard that? Now, I want to show you this experiment and uh, I hope it's going to be a blessing to you, all of us, so that uh, we can be able to understand uh, this. Now, hope you can see my camera here very well. Now, here we have two glasses. We have glass A, okay? We have glass A with water, glass B with water, and then we have glass C, which has nothing, okay? So now, let's assume this is Jesus, okay? This glass, glass A here, Jesus, we understand that his blood is powerful. He's able to uh, change us. So I'm assuming, let's assume this is just a turmeric, eh? but I just want to show you as an experiment so that you can be able to understand what it means to be in Christ and you, you are in Christ and Christ is in you. So now this is Christ, full of his blood, the one which washed our sins, okay? And you, you're here, you're empty, you're empty, you're only just... A glass, your, your blood cannot save you. But Jesus, his blood can save you, okay? So now, Jesus being here, being glass air, full of his righteous blood, which has come to save us, and us here being empty. Now, the Bible says, when Jesus is in you, and you are in him, everything changes, okay? So I want to show you how it looks like when you're in Christ. And Christ is in you okay so now this is you okay or this is Christ so Christ comes in you this is your body he comes in you okay this is Christ in you and you in him you in Christ the more you read the more you digest God's Word you're in him and is in you okay and now, this is the new you. The new you, it's literally impossible to separate you from God. How can you separate, try and separate this water, the one which was in glass A to glass B, or the one which was in glass B to glass C. It is impossible to separate that. Because once Christ is in you, nothing can separate you from the love of Christ. Nothing purely. There is nothing. When people come, when tribulations come, when troubles come, there is nothing which can separate you from the love of Christ. Not even tribulations, not even problems, not even fights, not even wars, not even anything can separate you from the love which is in Christ Jesus, right? And now, at the moment, we are here sitting, asking ourselves, what are we going to do? Because... I, I've, I've lied or I've done something. I feel like Jesus has separated himself from me. No, he has not separated himself from you. And now we are here. Yes, we are still in our naive bodies, but Christ is in us, right? We are still in this body, which is still cracking, has some cracks has some problems, has some uh, 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 dental deformities, has some cracks, has some uh, issues with health, has this and that. But you know what you are looking forward to? The day that will be given a new body, which is this glass C. Can you see that? We are looking forward to the day that we shall be given a new body. And us, we shall dwell in Christ now, in a new body, clean and neat. There will be no dirt. There will be no you know, spoil stuff, you know, you not have those cracks that you have, cracks of sin, and all those things that you always have. And you'll be a new creature, complete new creature in Christ Jesus. Okay? 
You shall be a complete new creature. Let me let me change my camera now so that you can face me. You shall be a new complete creature. And uh, what that means is there'll be no separation between you and Christ. It will be purely this. And there is no way you can say, I can be able to remove a certain piece of water, or I can remove this or that. How can you, how can you, how can you know which glass was the air, which one was B, or which one was C? There's no difference. Now two have become one. There's no difference between this water and the other water. Now when you look at this water, you think it's only Christ. Because in the beginning, it was the this yellow tamarisk which i put here representing christ now when people look at you they only see christ this is how god looks at you when he looks at you he doesn't see the old keith the 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 old keith who had no color who had no form who had no shape who was lost who was confused who had nothing which could be admired of now he sees the blood of his son in us he sees the new creature. He sees the new kid. He sees his son in us. In, in, in us. And that is what we mean, being inseparable with God. If you're in Christ and Christ is in you, you're just like this glass. There is nothing that you can, you cannot take Christ out from this. Because if we try to change this, how will we even know which, in, which part of ingredient was from this side and this side? It's all inseparable. All you can see is Christ. Hope this has been a blessing to you. Hope it has uh, woken some of you who keep, keep, keep on thinking, Jesus can, can, can go away from me. You know, I think I can lose my salvation. I think I, I, think I, I can be saved today and tomorrow I'll be, uh, I can lose my salvation. How can you lose your salvation? How can you lose? Brothers and sisters, how can you lose your salvation? It's impossible. Because how can you separate that glass of water? How can you say this is the old water and this is the new water? Now, it your own looks Christ. It is a new creature, new creation. There's nothing, not even things to come, not even things which were there, not even things on the heaven, not even things below, not even things as powerful as what which can separate you from the love of christ and the bible has said these things are written unto you that believe on the name of the son of god that you may know that you have eternal life hope this has been a blessing god bless you